Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. So today we are looking at Midnight from Alesso. It's a super simple song. There is literally just three chords, three and a half kind of. So it should take two or three minutes for this tutorial, hopefully. Just before I jump into the tutorial, uh, I just want to remind you uh, to subscribe to the channel if you haven't so yet uh, i would really appreciate so you you know you get notified for the new videos and also let me know uh, in the comments down below if you have any recommendation for uh, next tutorials so for this song you need three main chords and i will show you how to play the actual chords the actual position but then you'll see i'll, I'll show you how you can simplify them uh, for this particular song so the first chord is just a standard d Then you've got the E minor 7th. Then you've got a B minor 7th. And that's pretty much it. Then you've got uh, this chord that you use as a transition chord, uh, which is just a, a over a D. So it's just a, a standard D, but um, you start from the second string. So you also pick the A. Okay, so now we've got all the chords. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm going to show you the simplified version you can use for this song. So for the D, um, I recommend just using a normal D. So just this position is fine. For the E minor, you can, um, instead of using uh, your two fingers, your two first fingers, uh, you can kind of ditch the second finger and use the first finger on the third string. So instead of having the full, you'll just get the that's enough for that song so it's just like a simplification and for the B minor again instead of having the you could just have the first finger on the second here second fret and second string and then you've got the second finger on the last string second fret and the third finger on the third fret uh, fifth string so then the last chord will be uh, a, so you just remove that one finger here. So now that you've got these, we can start having a look at the right hand. So for the right hand, you're just going to use your thumb for the bass note for each of the chord. And then you're going to use first and second finger uh, to pick the two last strings. It's always the two last strings, no matter what chord you're doing. For the bass note, is going to alternate with the third string and second string. So for the D, we start on third string with your thumb and then you've got first and second finger picking the two last uh, strings so so for the D you're going to stay on the D for one bar so you can count uh, four one two three four and then you change to the E minor seventh so you can just um, shift that first finger one string up and add your pinky to the third um, last string, third fret last string. So then you've got... So same thing, one measure, uh, one bar, so you can count to four. One, two, three, four, and then you've got the B minor. So for the B minor, you can remove your pinky. So you've got kind of the same position you had with the D with these two fingers, with the second and third finger. And then the first one will come higher to the B position. So second fret, second string. And this one, you will stay two bars. So you can count twice to four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. And for the three and the fourth, actually, of the second time, you will just use the transition chord. So it's the A of a D, which is so for two times. So it's gonna go like this, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, and that's pretty much the entire song. So now I'm going to do a play through uh, super slowly and then I'm going to do one at the real speed.
So now I'll do it real speed. So obviously it's uh, quite a fast song, but uh, I recommend just using a metronome uh, and just you know increasing the, the BPM uh, by uh, small increments to get to that real speed. <laughs> And that's it guys, so I'll leave it uh, here for today's tutorial. I hope you found that helpful. Please uh, consider subscribing to the channel if you did, and I'll see you in the next video.